Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. Well, we've made it to Marrakesh. We're going to take you through the Medina, which is the old city, and through the souks and to the famous square. What's it called? Gemma et el Fana? Gemma. Fana? Gemma. Gemma. Something like that. Yeah. We probably butchered it. Yeah, we it, butchered but... it. So let's go. We're going to start with the West Gate. So we're at the west end of the Medina and staying just um, south of the gate. So we've just walked up here north. It's just a little farther, but first we're going to stop at the ATM and get some cash. We need some money. <laughs> Today is the first day of Ramadan. It's a holiday in Morocco. It's not a which... holiday, it's a whole well, month it, long. Yes, it is. But to them, it's like a long extended holiday kind of thing. But they basically fast all day long and they don't eat until the sun goes down. So every night is a big feast. Um, and we're gonna go inside the Medina, see what's open. There are other people who don't practice the fasting. So yeah. we'll see what we find. And if you haven't figured it out by now, it's really loud in this city. <laughs> so you probably hear all the ambient noise. There's just cars and scooters going everywhere. It doesn't seem like there's mufflers here. No. <laughs> but we're at the uh, Western Wall and here's a look at the Western Wall. We're in this huge paved area in front of the walls and there's a really tall area over here that looks like it's the main gate, but it looks like it's closed off. It looks like there's police truck parked here. Um, and just a bunch of people just hanging out, it looks like. It's a bus stop over here, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And then there's some stalls, it looks like, over there. We just walked through the gate and check out the street with all these wooden doors over here. Isn't that cool? We're gonna find a little alleyway and just kind of meander our way through. Should be fun. We have overcast skies, so it's not too hot today. Yay! Yay! All right, Sarah's buying something. I don't know what she's getting. Tortilla almost. Tortilla and flatbread almost together. Mm. Yummy. Still working on the roads a little bit. People selling their coffee and their wares. It's about as fresh as you can get. Pick your chicken. Off the main road, you usually find all the Riyadhs. These are all Riyadh entrances that are here. That's a terrace on the top of a Riyadh. Most of them do have some kind of terrace, some kind of patio up top, so they get some sun. We have these little restaurant entrances right off the, the main road. Looks like it's got a nice terrace up there. Sarah's shopping. What a shock. There are some things we're allowed to film and there's things that they don't want you filming. And they shut you down pretty quick. Yeah. 
they wave and holler and yeah. we don't know what they're saying, but we can tell by the way they're yeah, waving they're, and the way they're motioning. <laughs> Shut it off! <laughs> okay. Of a Riyadh, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It is a Riyadh. It's just been this is kind of what it looks like inside of a Riyadh, but this is obviously a business Riyadh. It's not a, a place where you would live, but they'd have a common area in the middle like this, and then the rooms would be all along the sides here. Which way do we go? We go that way? We go that way? We just came back from that way. We'll go this way. This will take us to the main square also. That's a pretty opening. A lot of some places to eat, which is good to see on Ramadan. A lot of places you can book tours in this area. Of course, this is like I guess this is like the main, one of the main walking areas. Everything else is kind of a side offshoot. You've got artwork in areas, beautiful pottery in areas. Sarah's found some, something she wants to see. Ah, fresh pomegranate juice. We heard it was the end of pomegranate season, so we're surprised to see that he's got pomegranates. These look older, they're not, they don't look as fresh. They're not as red, they're coming more brown. Sarah always likes some pomegranate juice. All right, coffee mugs acquired. Now we just need to find bowls. They have coffee cups at the Airbnb, but they're really small and we got this nice big coffee maker. So we wanted bigger cups. We're gonna have to leave them here. So they're only five bucks a piece. Oh, that's a bathtub. A lot of scooters back here too, so you gotta dodge the scooters as you walk. Beautiful tapestries and carpets. I'd buy one if they guaranteed it flew, but I'm only buying flying carpets these days. Be a mosque. Oh yeah, that is a mosque. They head inside the market. Looks like a mosque entrance. Beautiful. Because I got a water closet right there. We are definitely in the heart of the souks. Because everywhere you look, there's souks everywhere. Shop, 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 shop. All right, we got our bowls from this shop right here. Made a good deal. Got a couple bowls. We're ready to go. We found the shoe section. Well, we made it out the mini Grand Bazaar, which that's what it reminded me of was the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. But they got a whole nother souk area right here. Outdoor souk.
Ooh, place to eat. Of course, nobody's eating because it's Ramadan. All right, I found the local music store. My next things to record with. All right, another music store. Cool. They told us not to go this way. They said it's closed. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, Sarah just walked into this hotel, so let's go take a look at the hotel. This is a, a Riyadh right here, where they have rooms inside and upstairs, and then they'll have a nice terrace on top. All right, we understand that the tannery is this way, and this gentleman is going to the tannery to work, so I guess we're following him. Yeah, that's what he was saying. This is where they heat up the water for the hammam. The old way of... Wow. You should take permission, please. Hello. I've decided to put Sarah to work. That's right. She's making a rug. Go ahead. Yours is better. <laughs> and then yeah. he ends up making something like that. This is the fountain. Oh, wow, fountain. that is beautiful. And all these little teeny tiny cuts. Look at that. It will come meet the heart. This is gift for you. No. It will make the gift for you. He has you. too much work to do for yeah. that. Here's the tannery. Mm -hmm. That's the first stage, does water and lime. Mm -hmm. The lime for take the hair and the fat, that's the fat. Ah, okay. After the lime for take the hair and the fat, that's the second stage, water and the pigeon poo. Okay. Pigeon poo, there's ammonia. Got it. Now yep. for it to make leather soft. Yes. Yes. To take all the stuff yeah. out. Yeah. 15 days for each stage after the pigeon poo. 15 days? Yeah, for Ooh. each stage. After the pigeon poo, there's water with wheat flour. Wheat, wheat flour okay. for more soft and light color. Uh huh. After this. After the muza, after the drawing, after the color here, the finish over. And the camera skin in cow. Thick, very thick. For the bags, down the head. Now we get to go see the finished product. Off the wet, squishy thing. Yes. We seem to be in Tannery Road because there's tanneries everywhere in this area. There's a lot of them here and there. A lot of uh, entrances for tanneries. But we're looking for the final product. 
which is over here somewhere. I know my feet will just work. Well, we found the main square, the Gemma El Fana Square. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Gem, Gemma, Gemma El Fana, Gemma, whatever. All right, cue the uh... pomegranate juice. Oh, yeah, baby. They're all over the place. Making Sarah work for her juice. Ah, it's new and in my kitchen. This is for you. Oh, thank you. That's delicious. Look at the big. Ah, here. 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 Auction is kind of unique. That um, it's crazy in here. Absolutely bonkers. Look at all that stuff. You just saw the Medina. Let's talk about the Medina. There are some really nice people in the Medina and they're very helpful and they try to point you in the right direction and they go about their way. They're wonderful people. Yeah. And then you have the... <laughs> the scammers and the people trying to make a buck off of you. Right. And um, you can't really tell them apart. Nope. So you... You just have to trust that people are good and you kind of find out later that they just tried to take advantage. So, and you don't want to disrespect anyone. Right. But at the same time, when people just walk down the street with you and then expect you to give them money, when I mean, right. you were just going to walk down the street anyway, it's it's not cool. So yeah. those people are giving all the good people a bad a name. A bad name. And yeah. that's what I think is such a shame because the Moroccan people are so kind and so giving yeah. and so thoughtful and they're thrilled that we're here and seeing their country but and then you have those yeah. few that just kind of ruin it for everybody it's just kind of a bummer but I, I know those people are everywhere I mean they're in the states they're yeah. you know no matter where you go you're gonna have them it's just kind of a bummer you know when yeah. you don't know any better yeah if, if you get I don't know. I, it's hard. They're hard to, to tell. The scammers yeah. are really hard to tell because they're very good at what they're doing. Yeah. If you... And we're talking about just people who are saying, oh, you know, such and such is this way or such and such right, is that right. way. And there's tons of people that have done that and they say, have a good day. And that's that. Yeah. And then there's other people that, you know, keep walking with you and keep walking with you and kind of want to show you this and that. And, and pretty soon you realize wait a minute we're walking this way anyway <laughs> yeah what are you showing us and you can say no thank you 100,000 times and they will still walk right with you and ask for money then afterwards and it's just it's sad it really yeah. is sad also okay if you want to go in the, in the medina and see the tanneries awesome they're awesome they're interesting to see but no once you go to the tannery you're gonna pay yeah you are going to pay if you found a way not to pay, you are a stud. <laughs> so just beware. If you don't want to get scammed, you know, like I said, they pretty much corner you afterwards. And Yeah, they want to walk you to their leather store, which is fine. We were fine with looking at the leather store and looking at all these things because we were going to look at them anyway. Yeah. 
But then when we come out of the leather store after we're looking around and, you know, telling them their, their products are beautiful and everything, um, there's the guy from the tannery standing outside wanting money. With, I mean... With another guy. So you, they kind of team up on yeah. you. So, it, you know, we were kind of disappointed in that. Yeah. Um, if, if somebody would have come up to us and said, you know, look... Um, you know, I'll show you the tannery for a small amount right. or whatever. I would have paid a mission. That's If fine. they would have asked for admission a fee, I would have easily paid for it. But to do that, what they did, yeah, uh, that that's, that's what gives right. the Moroccans a yeah. bad name, as far as I'm yeah. concerned. So now I'm a little gun shy. It's yeah. like I don't know who to trust. Yeah. And it's sad because I'm still here for another month and plus. So. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a, yeah, yeah. it's going to be interesting. So all of you wonderful, sweet, giving Moroccans that love your country, um, if you have a chance, tr you know, if you can do something about the folks that try to take advantage of those, you know, appreciating your country, we'd, we'd appreciate it. And those who continue to come here in the future will appreciate right. it. Right. If you don't like gas fumes, the Medina is not for you. <laughs> there are so many scooters going through, and I got hit a bunch of times. You know, they're clipping you constantly, and it's in this. The fumes are they can get overwhelming at times. So just be aware of that also. But outside the Medina, I'm really enjoying outside the Medina actually more than in the Medina. So I like both. We shall carry on, and thanks for watching. We hope we didn't sway you from coming to Morocco because Morocco is beautiful. It is. It's you... wonderful. I would highly recommend seeing the Medina, spending time, getting lost. We got lost a few times. It was fun. Yep. So, so definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions. Yeah. Or if you've got any good comments about the Medina, leave them below so people can share and say, yep. yeah, no, we had a great time and we yep. didn't get scammed. We got scammed. <laughs> so, but thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we're gonna start with the west wall or the west. We're gonna we're gonna start by going. God, I know this. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> fifty million things. Money, 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 money. There's a hotel, Bob Dukala. Five star. Shopping, 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 shopping. I am whining again. Yeah, I'm Don't whining. Whine again. Okay, I'm whining. No whining. No whining. We are traveling. We're traveling. I'm not whining. <laughs>